All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, we're talking about protecting your fig harvest from squirrels and birds. And no doubt, these are the two major animals or critters that you're gonna see damage and attack your figs when they're ready to be harvested. So, birds are pretty easy. Um, I actually use either nets, and I'll wrap my entire tree with a net, or I'll use this, which is an organza bag. It's a three by five inch party favor bag. I'll put a link to these in the description. Uh, I get them on Amazon, shipped to me in packages of 100. And then what I do is to protect the figs, I wrap them around the figs that are turning color, starting to soften and become susceptible to crater damage. Actually not these, these are still green and hard and indestructible. No animals will go for these, but as a demonstration, you'll wrap it around the stem and then tie the, uh, the bag there, just tighten it there with the drawstrings. And that is enough to protect your figs from most, if not all, bird damage. Now, it takes a while to go around and bag every single fig. I've got literally hundreds of bags and it takes me a lot of time, uh, even to unbag them when I harvest them. So it's, a, it's an extra step, but it's worth it because you can see this bird damage is pretty severe. I can't eat this. That's most of the fig. So if you have a lot of bird damage and you have a lot of trees, then think about using nets instead. Nets are gonna cover the whole tree. You don't have to bag every single individual fig and you're gonna be better off. In terms of squirrels, uh, if you have squirrels in your neighborhood, which a lot of people do, and especially more humid places with a lot of trees, uh, they're tree rats after all, you're gonna wanna use traps. The the bags and the nets can only do so much. Uh, eventually the squirrels can learn to get through them. And so what I would recommend is using traps. You can shoot them, you can use traps that kill them, or you can have a heart and use a have a heart trap and relocate them. It's up to you, whatever you decide, but typically these are gonna be the, the two major pests. If you have other pests like groundhogs, raccoons, or maybe even deer, fences are your best friend. Deer don't usually go after them. Um, it's pretty rare, but definitely groundhogs will, and they can jump pretty high. Raccoons can obviously climb trees, so they're not just, you know, blocked by fences. You have to think about what they can climb on top of. But even just a really small fence, like a uh, chicken wire, that's only three feet in height up to your waist, you can get that, like a roll of that at Home Depot and construct a very simple fence with some stakes. And that's enough to keep out most squirrels and other land animals uh, that don't have access to your fig tree by climbing. But if they can climb on top, you're gonna wanna start using traps for things like those. But that's it, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You'll be eating some good figs in no time, all right? Take care.